All right, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing a beer from Foul Mouth Brewing, and they're out of South Portland, Maine, and this is their Yuzu Kosho Goza. So this is a Goza that is brewed with salt, yuzu peel, and chili peppers. Comes in at 4% alcohol by volume. No IBUs list in time of review. This can is approximately four and a half months old. I'm gonna give a huge thanks and shout out to a friend of mine and a viewer of the channel, Caleb, for hooking me up with this one. Thank you very much, good sir. I'll post a link in the description box to the beer mail boxing video I did that contains all the goodies that he sent my way. And when I first saw this in the beer mail, I was like, all right, it's a Goza, whatever, with Yuzu. I've had Yuzu before. It's a citrus fruit, uh, citrus fruit with uh, Asian origins. I've never had it before, but I've had it in beers. Uh, but I didn't really understand the kosho part until I read the label. It says, this kettle soured goza gets its unique flavors from yuzu kosho, a traditional Japanese seasoning made from yuzu peel, chili peppers, and salt. Uh, the yuzu kosho provides the perfect level of salinity and the depth of complexity to the lactobacillus fermentation. The yuzu peel accentuates the beer's citrusy tartness, while the chili peppers provide a touch of heat to the finish. This beer has layers of flavor that come in waves, each of which begs for another refreshing sip to follow the last. So yeah, I've never heard of foul mouth. Um, this sounds really interesting though. Uh, I've never had the seasoning yuzu kosho. So it just, it sounds like it might be the most interesting beer of all the beers Caleb sent to me. And Caleb sent some crazy beers. So yeah, I can't wait to get in this one. It sounds like it's gonna be super refreshing. I always enjoy like chili peppers in, in beers um, if they provide like a decent level of heat, but also flavor. So let's see if that's the case. Let's give it a pour here. Oh yeah, that's super light. Like a, you know, typically a 4% goes it would look like. Yeah. Go like that with it. So yeah, that's uh, that's fucking like pure bright, bright yellow, like sunshine in a glass. Uh, it has some haze behind it. Um, could be chill haze, but also, you know, just probably unfiltered as well. Had about a two, two and a half finger, bright white, basically soap sudsy colored head that is dissipating to a thin film um, with, you know, it being soured and the chili and the yuzu peel and everything. It's probably gonna be a thin film by the time I take a sip of this one. But yeah, it looks like a 4% goes up. Let's get a nose on it. It smells fucking weird. So I'm getting a huge citrus component probably from the yuzu. It almost has like a lemon-lime kind of like tartness to it. But then I'm getting chili peppers and it has a touch of heat. Like you can just smell that it might be a little bit of heat there, a little bit of, um, you know, a uh, little bit, just a touch, not a lot. But it also has a flavor of a chili pepper. It almost has like this slight smokiness to it. There's a sweetness here too. This reminds me a lot of like, I've had a, a couple different jalapeno cream ales. That's kind of what I'm getting in the nose. Now, this has more of a tartness to it because it goes on not a cream ale, but I'm getting that kind of level of like the sweeter cream ale vibe with, you know, the the heat of the jalapeno or the, or the I shouldn't say the heat because jalapenos aren't really super hot or anything. They're um, just the flavor of it, like the slight smokiness. That's what I'm kind of getting here. It's pretty cool. I just want to take a sip. It's making my mouth water. Um, yeah, but I'm not really getting a huge salinity from the nose. Like it doesn't have a saltiness to it, but maybe it will in the taste. Anyway, cheers everybody. And thanks again, Caleb. Oh, that's good. That's, that's a fucking, hang on. I drink fucking entire four pack of that in about an hour. It's warm out right now. You can see the condensation and the fog on my glasses and I'm sweating a little bit. It's hot outside. This is a thirst quencher through and through, even with the chili peppers. I'm buying this straight up light body. Is it watery? Sure. It's 4%. I'm not expecting a huge body or anything. It's light body. It's fine. The mouthfeel crisp, clean, refreshing. This is really clean for the most part. There's a lingering bit of heat on the back of the palate. It's fucking awesome. I like that just sensation of the heat on the back. I know it's not gonna get any hotter. And maybe by the end of this, this uh, can, maybe I'll build a little bit, but it's not gonna be overbearing. But this is cool. This has a nice mixture of like sweetness um, from the malt with a nice firm tartness from the souring aspect. 
Right at the forefront though, I'm hit with that yuzu peel, citrus peel. Would I be able to tell you there's yuzu in here if I was doing this blind as a, as a whodunit beer review? No, I would just say like lemon lime. It has this really lemon, like lemony lime kind of feeling at the front of the palate. And it's a mixture of like a lemon lime juice and a peel. So they say peel, but it has like a juiciness to it. But yeah, tip of the tongue, it's that lemon lime juice peel. There's a sweetness. Passes through the sourness, starts to creep in like two, maybe a third of the way through the palate to the halfway point. Soon as mid palate hits, the sweetness is gone. It's a full on farm tart, uh, firm tart farm, firm tartness. And then the pepper creeps in on the back of the palate and it transitions in from, from like sweet citrus fruit to more of like a sour tart kind of citrus fruit to a chili pepper heat. There's an underlying salinity, but it's not that big. It probably just enhances the drinkability, making you go back for more with the salt aspect. 4%, whatever, you can't taste it. It finishes with that, that heat with a nice like semi-dry kind of finish and a little bit of an acidity from the sourness. Man, this is cool. This is a cool beer, fun beer, cool beer, refreshing beer, tasty beer. I didn't, I'll be honest with you, when I opened up the beer mail and I saw it and I was like thinking, you know, you know laying out what I'm gonna, when I'm gonna review it and whatnot, I'm just like, that should be pretty good. I should enjoy it. I'm liking this way more than I anticipated. And I always say, you know, don't no preconceived notions when it comes to review. Sometimes you do and sometimes you don't. But like this one, I wasn't expecting like, you know, to blow me away or anything. I thought it would be good. But the rating on this is I'm going to give is probably way better than I anticipated. So I'm going to give Foul Mouth Brewing's uh, Yuzu Kosho Goza. I'm going to give this a, uh, I'm going to give it a low 4.25 out of 5. No, 4.2 out of 5. I really like this one. I'm digging it a lot. Yeah, a lot. It just, it has a uniqueness to it, a complexity. They do say it's complex on the uh, label and I agree. And and it, like, I can't deny what they're saying. Like I get all the flavors and it's just super refreshing, easy to drink, but it has a unique in, in fun, more importantly than anything, a fun palette um, or a fun profile, taste profile, flavor profile on the palate. It just, it's a lot of fun to drink. I don't know how, what else to say. Uh, so yeah, 4.2 out of five for this one. I, I fuck it, thoroughly enjoy it. Price and availability. I have no idea. Um, probably brewery only maybe gets in and around uh, South Portland and Portland in general in Maine. Uh, price point on this one. I don't think I'd pay more than a beer like this one a crush. So I, I would hope that this would be in like the twelve to fourteen dollar range. I could see it probably maybe sixteen dollars at the at the max. But yeah, I, I would like to see this in the twelve to sixteen dollar range, closer to twelve. I think three dollars for a can of this at four percent is is worth it. And if this was around twelve thirteen dollars, this would be one I would buy every single summer or whatever. I guess it was released in the spring spring. I don't know if this is a seasonal release or it's a rotating or it's year round. But I would buy this one in the warmer weather because this is a fucking crusher of a beer. Now, if you don't like chili peppers, you don't like a little bit of heat, you probably won't care for this one. Not that. Like I said, it's hot or anything, but there is a little bit of like lingering burn on the back of the palate. It's not big, it's minute, but it definitely hangs around. So if that's not your jam, this wouldn't be for you. But for those of you who don't mind a little bit of heat, yeah, this is this is this is good stuff. So 4.2 out of 5 for this one. Appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. Thanks again to Caleb for this one. Might be the coolest beer of all the ones he sent, although I still have a couple more I need to review. Uh, this is still fantastic stuff. So thanks again, Caleb. Cheers to everybody. Hope you have a good one.